Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video and today I will be telling you how to transform your really bad footage to a good quality footage. Now this tutorial is mainly for the people who have really weak PCs, but anyway, let's get straight into the video. Okay, but before we get into the video, I want to tell you that if you subscribe, you will appear in the comments of my videos. Now, it will take a little bit of time to update, but it will show your name in the description of my video. Also, subscribing to me helps you motivate me to make more videos for you guys. So I'd really appreciate if you do that. Anyway, let's get straight into the video now. Okay, so I have several things prepared for this tutorial. And by the way, I want to preface this by saying that this is gonna be kind of a short tutorial and I will try to get straight to the point as easily and as fast as possible. So anyway, Anyway, the one thing that I want you to do is only look at these three files. Ignore the results folder because I have already prepared the results files so that I don't have to wait for the programs to do their magic. But basically, these are two programs that we're gonna be using and this is our clip file. So let's go ahead and watch this file. Anyway, as you can see, that file is not really good. It's in 720p and it's also 60 FPS. Now, this might seem like it's passable, but I assure you, if you can only record in 720p 60 FPS, that it's not gonna be looking good on YouTube. But I want to say that if the max you can record at is 720p 60 FPS, then to have really smooth renders is gonna be pretty hard to pull off. But we're gonna do just that today, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Okay, so the two things that we want to do today is to increase the FPS of our our file and also upscale it to 1080p and the reason we want to increase the clips fps is because higher fps will give that motion blur a look when we use frame blending feature or smart resample depending on what your editing software is now anyway we're gonna start off with the first program and it's called flow frames basically flow frames is a new program that enables you to increase the fps of the video file and it is completely free and the one downside to this is that it takes quite a lot of time to render it so in some cases if you're rendering out our long clip you might need to run this overnight anyway let's open this file okay now that you opened it you should see something like this now it's really simple just drag and drop the video file into flow frames and you should see something like this the important thing here is to set this to four times to get 240 fps you can also set this to eight times but this will take extremely long amount of time to render so i don't recommend it i suggest going for four times and call it a day now after you do this press interpolate and wait till the file is finished but one thing that i want to mention is that if you ran into some sort of problems while using flow frames don't go into my comment section and telling me that it doesn't work because i'm in no way a flow frames video interpolator expert so i suggest taking this problem to google or their support discord server anyways after flow frames is done with your video you should have a new video file in the same folder as your original clip now it will be named as a long string of characters but i just renamed it to 720p 240 that just makes it easier on the eyes. Anyway, now let's click properties on the file, details, and as you can see, the frame rate says 240 FPS. Now, after this, you will have to do one thing that's kind of important. You will want to download FFmpeg. But basically, I will link down a tutorial on how to download FFmpeg. But after you're done downloading it, you can check if it's working correctly by pressing Windows key and typing CMD. This will open up command prompt. Basically, what you want to do now is type in FFmpeg and press enter if you see this long string of characters then it means that you installed ffmpeg correctly but if you only get like a ffmpeg is not a recognized as an internal or external command then that means you did something wrong and i suggest going into your tutorial and see any mistakes that you might have made anyway as long as you see this long string of characters after you type ffmpeg you should be gucci now let's go over to the bat file basically what bat files are is that there are a bunch of commands that will be typed in the command prompt now you can really easily open up the file and see what's inside it and as you can see it will use ffmpeg to scale up the video file to 1080p with nearest neighbor scaling option and right here you want to set your fps value so for example if you upscaled your video to 480 fps you want to change this value to 480 and so on now right here you don't really have to pay too much attention to this but one thing that you can note is that if you don't have an nvidia gpu you can use another bat file that i will provide in the description that's gonna be called something like 
like this but with cpu anyways what you want to do now is drag and drop the file that you have increased the fps for with the flow frames feature onto the bat file and this will start creating a new upscaled version of this now i have already done this so i don't need to wait for it but as you can see it generates this kind of file now if you open the properties for this file you can see that it's 1080p and 240 fps now let's get over to our video editing software and see how it looks i'm in my video editing software of choice which is premiere pro and i'm gonna create a sequence which is gonna be what i'm gonna be exporting the video as so that i can upload it to youtube now let's drag over the file and when we drag it in you can see that there's no audio in the file so let's drag in the original clip put it over to the top unlink the top and delete it and now you can link both of the files together don't forget to save now as you can see there's not quite a lot of motion blur but don't worry about that we're gonna fix that go ahead right here go click on the file press time interpolation and set frame blending this will enable motion blur on the video file now save again as you can see it now has motion blur but anyway now i'm going to be exporting my video file with my preset and if you want my settings i'm going to be scrolling through them and you can see all of them in their full glory anyway we're gonna meet again after i export the video file hit export and it's rendering now it is almost done and all right now let's compare our video clips